Hey guys, I'm back at this uh, charger with the 3.6. We're doing, I'm getting ready to replace cam phases. I can see all the cam phases down there. Uh, like I say, I'm going to indulge in some uh, foolery, trickery here on this video. I keep getting asked, how do you do it? How I want to see the way you do it. I want to see how JT do it. Okay, that's pretty reckless, guys, <laughs> of me to show myself recklessly doing a job i mean i want to maintain my image of integrity or but just so you know guys a lot of things a lot of stuff that uh text may come off as saying that actually you know the way something should be done a lot of them do not do that so uh please be mindful that uh texts are human too <laughs> and the main objective or goal of the tech is to get the job done as quickly as possible keep in mind he's on commission okay so uh anything that slows him down uh it's a no-no in some people's eye okay me i can go both ways i have the luck i can afford you know what i'm saying to make sure something's done right by using the right stuff so but uh, and plus i had a couple of guys that can't get it can't get it right even with the tool so i've showed y'all how to do it with the tools now I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm not going to say I'm going to show y'all the wrong way. Because keep in mind, guys, it's not really a right way or a wrong way. If your end goal is to make sure it's done right, uh, does it really matter how you got there? Okay, now if you can, if you risk a chance of ruining something or damaging something, yes, that is considered. I would consider that the wrong way. Okay, but I plan, plan on not damaging <laughs> anything. Naturally so, right? Okay. So here's where we at. I got the valve cover. Oh, by the way, guys, let me say this. All right, because a lot of people ask me this. They have a hard time getting the right side valve cover off. It's actually bank one. All right, guys, I'm sure you all know this by now. If, for those that have took and, taken one off, the right side or bank one as the PCV valve uh, going inside the valve cover. Okay, so naturally, you will have to remove the PCV valve. Okay, that's a given. And no way around it okay because this it slides in here all right so all of this is part that sets like that in the cover all of that is attached to the cover now so even when you take this pcv valve out two screws holding the guys t25 even when you take it out it's still not a sure far shot of this valve cover coming straight up okay yes you will have to maneuver it and twist it and finally get it off okay because you're just fighting with the hole that's all guys you're fighting with the hole and this uh, pcv valve uh, apparatus on this uh look like exhaust cam okay so do not panic because it won't come straight up you will have to finagle it a little bit to get past it and then it comes up all right so before i'm just gonna set the camera down and go with it guys because i consider this well, it's not really reckless. Like I say, it's another way. It's my way. So I'm not going to narrate through this. I'm just going to park the camera down and just go with it. But before I do anything, guys, I keep in mind, I've been paid to just do the phasers. Okay. But that would be irresponsible of me to not check the last adjuster. I mean, the rock arms. Okay. Perform my JT field test. I'm going to put a link, a card to a video right here where I talk about the field test. Okay. Field, F E E L. What I'm doing is filling for the potential of a broken rock arm. It's nothing like being getting done with this car, putting it all back together, and you hear a tick. So if I find one, I'm going to address it right now while I have the valve cover off. Okay. Also keep in mind, you will fail. It's a bad timing to do the JT field test. If the cam load, this is the load, if the cam load is sitting on top of the rocker, okay, you cannot, <laughs> that would be uh, a bad reading, all right? Because if you have that load compressed down on the rocker, yes, you shouldn't feel it for looseness at that point, all right? So uh, you will need to rotate the crankshaft in order to get bring the cam off of the load. Don't turn it by the cams. Do not rotate the engine using the cam. Use the crankshaft pulley. All right, so I'm going to fill them all, and then I'm going to rotate the engine a little. I have to rotate it anyway because, remember, guys, we got to bring timing up top dead center. All right, and from there, I'm going to do my test, my field test. If they're all good, I will proceed. If not, I'm going to take the cam off and 
put a new rock arm in that broken one, if there is any. From there, I'm going to park the camera probably right here on my little tripod thingy. And uh, I will proceed with replacing intake and exhaust cam phasers on bank one. Okay. Now, like I say, on bank two, uh, you, you're you going to be forced to use some type of tool uh, just so you can... Uh, bring the guide off of the chain because you got to create some slack but this one is fairly this one is fairly simple so like i said i had two or three guys getting beat up on uh bank one okay yes that was that's the easiest one in fact you don't okay i don't want to sound reckless again but guys <sighs> all right uh here it goes because i'm gonna set the camera down and go for it so I will not narrate. In fact, after I remove the two cam phasers, I will install them and then shut the video down uh, completely. So you may not hear from me again. So with that being known and said, I will do my outro right now. <laughs> all right. That's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe. Oh, remember, mark these. So I'm going to uh, get my marker. Mark Always mark the time. After you bring it up, top dead center. I got to rotate it anyway to check my rock arms. All right. And from there, it's uh, Cam Phaser City. All right. They sitting down here ready to go waiting on me. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video.